Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday, November 19th. This will be a full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. Uh, if I see the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm giving 10% discount for November. You have to text or email to schedule that. I am also partnering with Keen. I will add the link. I am not a reader, um, but I'm just partnering with them. They do are, are giving a first 10 minutes for $1.99 for first time users. Okay, I already pulled cards. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for our greater good. The wisdom of the oracle, truth be told, you are living your truth. You are being your true authentic self. You're not afraid to speak up. And new life came out. That's where you're headed in this new direction. You have a new life. The bottom of the deck is a leg up. The universe is guiding you, assisting you. Underneath that is serendipity, a change in your luck, okay? First four cards I got out is divine protection. You protect your energy, but the divine also protects you, okay? You have financial abundance headed your way, a blessing from God. You are in the energy of self-love, pouring into your own cup. You're highly intuitive. You're very empathetic. You listen to your intuition and the wheel of fortune, fate, and destiny. Things are changing in your favor, okay? So then I got... Of course, you know, the devil always has to make an appearance, it seems. This devil energy, toxic, low vibe energy, they're learning what love means. The divine is teaching this person what true love means, okay? And they're trying to manifest you, but they're being hit with justice, karma for their past actions, manifesting. They want to come in and apologize. Now, I'm going to clarify these cards, okay, guys? But that's what I'm getting. You know, they're starting to realize that there has to be a balance, you know? It can't all be lust, it can't all be love, it has to be equal balance in a relationship and they're starting to learn this. So now with this lesson, they're also starting to learn what they threw away. So let's, I have already shuffled these, but let's clarify this devil energy. Please clarify the devil. Yeah, look at that. This was a soul connection, a karmic soul connection with this devil. Okay, please clarify the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yeah, look, the Empress. They're, they're understanding what love is, and they're understanding what they had was an Empress. Okay, let's um, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. The Fool. Wanting a brand new beginning, trying to manifest a brand new beginning. Clarify justice. The sun. Yeah, they know the truth has been illuminating to them, illuminated to them. They know the truth. They know that what they're experiencing in their life right now is due to their behavior, their mistreatment of you, the things that they did to you. They know it. God has shown the truth, shine the truth on this situation. Okay, the magician. Please clarify the magician. Seven of Pentacles. Plotting and planning through manipulation, black magic, what what have you, plotting and planning. Page of Cups, please. Wow, what did I say? Page of Cup, wanting to apologize, being hit with karma, and there will be no new beginning. The Divine is saying, absolutely not. Nope, absolutely not. Okay, let's clarify, truth be told. Truth be told. Zeus. Truth be told, please. Clarify truth be told. Yeah. Self-love. Being your true authentic self. Queen of Cups. Loving yourself. Okay. Clarify the new life. New life. Please clarify new life. priestess being divinely connected um living your life according to the spiritual realm and not the 3d so the high priestess is very divinely connected uh, very spiritual and very gifted that that is your new life this spiritual realm is your new life okay so 
I want to get some more cards just to see if there's any more advice for us, okay? Let's see what else comes out. What else do we need to know, please? <laughs> Making plans for the future with new love new love. Now this can be romantic partners, this can be friendship, but you're making plans for the future, which is beautiful. Yeah, financial abundance again. Financial abundance and elevation, financial security coming in. Yeah. After a long, hard battle, a lot of people disappointing you, a lot of people causing you great pain, you know, trying to slander you, trying to hurt you, trying to destroy you, but God's on your side. Look at this. Ten of Cups. Happy home, happy life, complete emotional fulfillment. You are happy. You are happy. Happier than you've ever been. Pentacles, grounded, stable, and financially secure. This is the financial abundance that's coming in. You dropping the burden. Okay, let's see what the community card is. Okay, that wanted to come out and that makes sense. Okay, dropping the burden of a connection that was with a controlling, dominating energy and walking away. Yeah, energetically disconnecting from that lesson. And that, that's God that's guiding you to do so. Why? Because of deception. You know, there are things that you can forgive, but you can never trust again. When someone does these things to you, you can forgive them. But how could you ever trust an individual like that? No. Look, they're saying you can't. It's over. Death. Tower. Oh, this person this keeps coming out they are experiencing tower moments in their life and it's karma it's karma it's plain and simple nothing you did it's karma you have generational wealth you're moving toward financial stability with a partner that you will build with a soulmate yeah you're in your power proud and confident passionate and very driven you'll be a success you have strength now you have strength and courage to push forward you don't care what anyone thinks about you, what anyone says about you. You just block them. You don't care. You block them and keep it moving. Yeah, you see through illusions. You don't care. You just don't care anymore. And, and you know what? When you're in the energy of not caring about what people say or if they judge you, you are untouchable. You are. Okay? Coming out of this period of abandonment, rejection, or a lack of poverty mindset. Yeah, because God protects you. And you have divine love. God protects you. You protect yourself. And you have divine love. Yeah. And just because someone you walked away from doesn't want the cycle to end, that is not your problem. And I say it all the time. It's not your problem. Look at this. Heavy and regret. God's saying, go within so you can heal. Learn your lesson. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a no tolerance policy right there. I'm not... I'm not going to deal with low vibe energies that haven't healed. I got no time for you. I'm, I'll just move on. You can watch me as I move away. I'm not dealing with you. Okay. Let's do a Cancerian Oracle, guys. Let's see what comes out. Hydrate and meditate. I know this is terrible. I don't drink enough water either, so... Start meditating and drink more water. Yeah, you have a destiny. You have a purpose, okay? And they said it's meant to be. They want you to have faith and believe, okay? Yeah, you went through a rebirth, an awakening. Growth, transforming, healing. Some of you will have a career change. One more, please. Two, okay? Trust God. There's going to be a big change coming in months from now. Just be open to receive and you are on the right path, guys. All right. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.